Welcome to the Art Lady channel. Today I have some first graders here and we're going to be learning how to paint these beautiful sailboats. And we're going to be learning about tints of color. And a tint of color is a color with white added to it. And we'll learn how to make our tints. Um, but first off, let's start off with our sailboat. And I'll show you some more examples as, of first grade as we go along. Um, but we're going to start off with the bottom of this boat and we will work our way up to the top and then we'll paint in our ocean. We'll go from dark values of color, making a tint of blue to very light. So we're gonna start off, I wanna choose a bright color and I'm gonna find top, bottom, center of my page and I'm gonna mark it with a tiny line. From here, I'm going to draw this line horizontal and I'm gonna put it center in my page and I want it to be wider than my hand. I want it wider than my hand. So check, after you draw your line, you're gonna make it wider than your hand. And then we're gonna go down diagonal, down diagonal. And from there, we're going to connect both lines together. And that's a simple bottom of a sailboat. From here, we're gonna paint in our sailboat and I'm just doing long horizontal lines and I'm smoothing out any of the puddles. And I'm gonna go quick so that you can get to painting. And from here, I'm gonna find the center of this line and I'm gonna make a perpendicular line straight up and I'm resting my hand on the page and I'm just gonna move it straight up almost to the top of that page. This is going to be the post of the sailboat where the sails attach. And I'm gonna cap it off with a nice little circle. And then I'm gonna go out horizontal with a little flag. And you can make your flag a little bit thicker if you want. And then kind of end it off real skinny like it's flowing in the breeze here. And then of course later on, add a little line here, later on you can add design to your flag if you'd like. From here, I'm going to go on in to the ocean. And I'm just gonna wipe my brush quick here. And we're gonna go on in to a dark value. Let's see if you can see where I'm dipping. A dark value uh, paint. Now I'm not where it's so dark blue that it's black blue. I'm, I'm at a, or navy blue, I'm at a medium blue. And I'm gonna go ahead and do some waves. My first wave is going to be the larger swell, come across straight, swell up gently, then swell down slowly. Using a very thin, this is a small number two brush. Now I'm gonna do some swirls. When I do my swirls, I come across, I swell up, and then I want a swirl like a Van Gogh night sky swirl. So I'm going around like a circle, and I'm not making a complete circle. If I was, I'd connect. I'm just kind of curving it in and swirling it inside smaller and smaller. This will give some turbulent, show a lot of movement and force to those waves. I'm gonna give another swirl, again, almost like a circle. And you continue. So we could just continue instead of making the circle and go slow, smaller, just move your line smaller and smaller. And there's your swirl swell. Now you can put your swirl, swirls in wherever you want. Maybe you're reaching up another swell here that's a little bit smaller. And I'm gonna do a bigger one right here. The swirls, the swells, these curly cues. If you wanna, if you've never made one of these curly cues before, you might wanna practice a curly cue with a pencil first. That helps. And then as they get farther back, they get smaller. And then finally, it'll just blend into lines. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to wipe my brush just a little bit on a paper towel, and I'm gonna very carefully go into the white. Now I'm not stirring the white. If I do, I'm gonna dirty the white. I want to have the blue mix with white because this is going to make what's called the tint of my color. 
Now I'm going to create my waves. I'm just going to draw and I'm mimicking the swell. Dip into the white. So when I have a line that slightly goes up, I'm just drawing next to it and having my line slightly go up. And if you notice, having the blue on my brush, I'm copying what the line was before here. So, but when I have the blue on my brush, it's mixing in with the white paint to create my tint of color. So white plus a color makes a tint. And I'm just filling in the spaces in between the blue swells and spirals with lines of blue and white. I do not go back into my blue at all. I'm just adding swirl in between the swirls. I'm just adding the white paint, but yet it picks up some of the, the leftover on my brush to create that tint of blue. Now I'm going to go ahead, before I continue up here, I'm going to go ahead and take my brush and bring this down straight and bring this side down straight. Actually, it's a diagonal line. It's a straight diagonal line. And it's going to connect to the boat, the edge of the boat. And this is going to form the sail. Now I'm going to go bump up, bump up, and it gives it that light gray look. Now after, if I want, I can go back over this line and I can add color to my sail if I want to. I can add, um, you know, a darker line to the sail after, but this just gives me the guideline. So as I'm making my waves in the background, I have a place to stop. And you can see how it's making a light blue value. Now I'm not gonna add any more turbulent swirl, swirl, swirls. I'm just gonna add lines with my brush. I'm dipping into the white and doing horizontal lines coming out from my sailboat which is straight lines across with my white paint. And this will form just some waves in the background ocean. Just lines. I can even come back in here anywhere that I miss. And so my color goes from the darker blue down here to the lighter value up here. Now some of the students, they wanted to put a little sun in, so I'm gonna wash my brush and I'm, oops, I got a little bit of orange on here. And I'm gonna go into my yellow. And if you wanna add a little yellow, yellow, orange sun or sunset, you can up at the top here. And the sun can even be reflecting into the ocean. And you can just do little tiny horizontal lines very lightly with that yellow. And sometimes if you wanna put a little sunshine down here, you can as it hits in the waves as reflection. You can also take a little bit of your boat color and mix it with the white to create some reflection of the boat into that water as well down here. Um, now to finish off the sailboat, if you'd like, you can. I'll show you what some of the students have done. Some of the students traced over. Here's my example here. I did it with a darker value. Some of the students traced over their sails with dark paint. Some of them added pattern in their sails, and of course some pattern up here. Here's some lines in their sails. However you wanna do your sail, that's up to you. Some of the students have been added color on the inside. Um, I kinda like the look of the white sailboat color. And look at this gorgeous waves here. And then you've got your sun and your reflection. Uh, but I hope you enjoy uh, making your own sailboat sunset picture.